this, huh? A lot of this in the top cut. There's been uh, we haven't seen a lot of Wayland. There was a lot of Wayland, but there was also a lot of Mandy, a lot of uh, Estelle Moons based each speed decks. I guess these were the de facto best decks. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I heard from Josh. He's talking about these are the decks to beat, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, here we're off. It's very important to understand. Josh Wilson's coming from the winners brackets. Indeed, so Dean he only has to, has win, to win one game. Yeah. Dean, our Canadian hope, uh, he has two games to win. Yeah. And they've played off earlier in the in the final cut. I they did. Dean yeah. was dropped to lower brackets. Yeah, it was Wilson. the the inverse of this. Uh, yes. Dean was corping that time around. Uh, and Josh managed to take it. And we're off. And we actually both seem to have a very solid start. So we did oh, not yeah. get to see whether or not this was uh, a mulligan. Uh -huh. We have an Estelle Moon iced up. HQ is open. Josh has his draw engine. Josh has Look his Look at this engine. amazing this start from Josh. Really good like, on both sides. Yes. Uh, well, yeah, of course, I'm not discounting Dean's start at all because he did have the Moon's turn. Um, where, but however, the Earthrise is going to draw Josh a nice six, and that Blue Moose is just going to continue to provide value throughout the game. He got it down very first turn. That's just kind of what you want. Uh, three, three is the number, apparently. Three is the number, and so we have a Josh here. He has his Temujin, he has his R&D, or his medium for his R&D access, and he might actually just go for it. Mm. Uh, it's kind of a bit risky. You are kind of ignoring other parts a of the board. A lot of other things of the board, yeah. Well, you do want money, and that's yeah, and generally really good. This uh, this bore out really well against Jason, so I think I think he wants to repeat the successes of his last top eight match. And there's a chance, sure, you do have the draw from Estelle Moon, but there's a chance that Dean can find ice fast enough. There is not a lot of ice in the deck. There is a vanilla on top, though. Oh, so that's quite good, yeah. That will stop me him for a tiny bit. Uh, Amaku and Paperclip are his two answers to that. Uh, yes, uh, Amaku being one of the best answers for Vanilla. Very good answer. And we're going to see a couple more cards here. One more down. We're getting money here with the Temujin. This is exactly what kind of opening you want. And the second card down, I this believe, is a turtle, turtle Bex. Yep. Yeah. And he can draw through all that stuff. None of this stuff on the table Josh has decided that he needs to deal with. No, um, I think this is a situation that Dean definitely loves to jam the brazen agenda out in. Yes. But uh, we'll see what he does. Dean like, is known yeah. for the, that naked, mm. that mm. that remote server play that is always so exciting to watch. Mm -hmm. And it looks like he's just drawn up, not wanting to use the stealth, maybe wants to get more value on that. Empty his whole hand so yeah. he can get more card draw. Yeah. And it looks like that might actually just be the play here. Put that there. That's not a really difficult face check. You can always plow into that first click if you are worried. Perhaps it is might a as well. Job. Yep. Uh, architect, of course, would be real nice for Dean. Yeah, very good. Um, but yeah, it's uh, again not something you're super concerned about, especially after seeing the vanilla up top. And so we do have a with an investigator in hand, which means if he doesn't have an answer directly to the paper clip, if he finds a uh, fair shot somewhere else, he oh, might yeah, be and actually then slams it in. Yeah, you're right. Not a great ice to have an R and D, but it is technically an option if he wants to tunnel a bit on that medium. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about their game plans here. So Dean, this deck wants a fast event out. Generally yes. not scoring a remote, but yes. with a mixture of cards like Biotic Labor, uh, even Lakshmi Smart Fabrics can sometimes be seen as a never uh, advanced Yeah, card. a never advanced style. Uh, yep. um, you have a couple options here. And Josh Wilson is going to be running a lot of cards to actually deal with this matchup. He knows that this is the card or the deck to beat. And that's cards like John Masanori. Sure, there's a little bit of a liability yeah. there. But being able to get an access and draw a card at the same time just crunches down. Yeah, I am... Um, smiling at this engine yes. that Josh has uh, cultivated here. Um, he's only really missing the Desperado and maybe a couple and informants if you're being drew fancy. That, drew that Desperado off the top with that Masanori. <laughs> he's really good to go. He's really good to go. He's got the Masanori, he's got the Aaron Moran. It's just an entire cadre of criminals and their resources. I think this is the best Andromeda opening we've seen so This far is an amazing Andromeda uh, He does have the card draw coming in still to a turn. Aaron on the table gets more draw if he needs it. Siphon Town is open if he wants it to and he also has the Mongoose and Versificator. Yep. And uh, Blue Moose yeah, discarding a redundant Aaron Moran, and that's definitely just getting tossed to the moose later on. So these cards we've seen so far in Dean's deck, he's running some spicy cards. Yep. Uh, the biggest one that we've seen so far, to, that actually did a lot of work so far, is the best defense. Yep. Uh, he actually did and also it, draw in the. Fact, the blackmail's in there too. Sorry? The blackmail's there too. Yeah. Oh, sorry, uh, the blacklist. I'm yeah, the blacklist, which he just drew, is yeah. it's very strong. It does stop against Blue Moose. It does stop against a paperclip, but not actually that impactful when all, the only barrier you're running is vanilla. Yeah, not a ton. Um, Josh is also pretty flush with cash at the moment. Yes, things are okay. 12 credits still locked into that uh, Temujin contract. You might want to get those at some point, but uh, card draw is still good. Let's see if you can oh, find there's blacklist. Uh, yeah, there. blacklist keeping Josh off the two, forcing him to deal with it immediately. And he, yeah, he does have to deal with that relatively soon if he wants to keep getting his money, and that's only with the Desperado. It's two credits of trash. Yep. Not too bad. Yeah, pretty insane. But it'll yep. keep coming back throughout the game. For it's sure. a very annoying card that yeah, you have to deal with. Uh, you may be blacklisted, but your friends in high places will take care of that for you. And uh, hey, Code Marvelous, this is actually the last premier event under the old rules. No, second nope. last. No, no, again, let's second not forget last. Slovakia. Slovakia has an event. Yeah. It has a nationals, so I believe mm -hmm. it's, it has to be between now and October 1st. Yes. 
Um, so Josh Wilson doing something really cool here. He sees that the blacklist is on the table, but understand Dean is like the master of the yeah. kind of the yeah, 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 the small the ruse. redirection, yeah. the ruse. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he wants to check out all the cards that were installed that turn because the blacklist seems too obvious as a must trash. And that's very good. For getting moose triggers, he actually can't use that card. Uh, can't be removing cards from games. Uh, from the game because of the blacklist and the daily cast is going to come down. More value, such value. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't have any hate against uh, Stell Moon. Uh, he's not no. running. Uh, he's not running a political operative. Yeah, and in fact, this is uh, this is the type of uh, play you'll see with Estelle, where like uh, you can safely get it up to an, an absurd amount of counters when you know your opponent's list back and forth. And so we're going to be drawing six cards, plus one extra with Daily Business Show. I believe that Dean's going to be doing this on Josh's turn, so he gets the Daily Business Show to fire twice yep. in pretty close succession. Yep. Uh, food is going to go on the bottom. That's three points out of the game, so there's some value in shuffling the deck. Uh, it can only largely be done by Jackson Howard. Mm -hmm. And you're generally good to go. That's the tempo you need. That's more assets you need, and that's generally yeah. how these decks get going. So I think Josh is just missing breakers. Just breakers. Just breakers. Dean probably wants to find an agenda by now. Siphon could be an issue. That's actually He a... wants to get his first agenda scored very soon. Yes. Otherwise, this game is going to spiral out of his control. Uh, Aaron on the table is good before any agendas are scored. So, and we have another Estelle. All right, this is looking like a nice turn. Click one, Estelle. Click two. Where I think Estelle was it? actually on the table, so it's Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, click yeah. one, install. Yep. So that's just yeah, more that's, money. And that's a, that's a Jeeves he's just jammed. So, I mean, here, here it comes. We also do have a friend's last click if yes, you want to get that. It is almost certainly the friend's again. last click. You with can put uh, an Estelle in that server again. Sorry? Mm, yeah, true. And we'll keep going. Keep installing things. Get the daily business shows down. I think Josh Wilson still has an out here. Mind you, Dean is not running Cyberdex Virus Suite, a card that is very popular in a lot of these decks. Yes. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. And that means that the medium has to be addressed properly. You either have to make sure that R&D Ice is relatively good. Mm -hmm. You have the Jeeves to get the value purge. Um, but uh, otherwise, you're going to have to purge manually, and that can be a, a, a tempo hit for it's a deck a big, that's already yeah. so good on It's tempo. a big tempo hit, um, especially against Andy, who can just generate value off runs handily. So we have four credits coming in, I believe, at the beginning of that turn. Uh, and Aeneas is coming down with that Desperado. Now you're getting a lot of value. <laughs> and it looks like Josh Wilson did miss the trigger there on the Blue Moose, but uh, it's up to Dean to allow that or disallow that. Yep. So we're good. Two more credits coming in. Mm -hmm. And there's a passport actually. We were talking about that before. That mm -hmm. is an include that you can put in. And we're going to be running the Estelle first click. Second daily business show, making that Estelle even better. Four cards, put away two. Yep. Passport is a great include. It fa pairs up very favorably against uh, Fairchild 3.0, yeah? It's, it's good against Fairchild, yeah. You get an even number on the strength, so you're not wasting credits. Yep. It's also relatively good to put down turn. Like, you can install a lot of times, as long as you have your Mongoose down, you can yep. install Passport yep. Siphon, yep. Yeah. and you'll generally get through most of the ice. It's a very cheap install. Yeah, installing 6 for Inversificator can be an issue in the early game, so yes. it's, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, especially when the early game is only two or three turns yes. long, yeah, like yeah, against Moons. Yep. So we did see there, there's the Jeeves model Byroid. That's a unique card that gives you an extra click as long as you do the same thing three times. But with the value of Aeneas and Desperado, uh, Josh is going to be walking away from that with more credits than he started. Uh, it's basically a magnum opus, and he's going to be able to basically check everything, let alone John Massonori giving him that extra card draw. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of cards in Dean's hand, and HQ isn't iced. He did control a bit of that draw. That Daily Business Show does do a lot of value, whether he wants to be running HQ at this point. Unlikely, but again, there's always that ever-looming threat of siphoning. Yeah, siphon can be strong. Is he, oh, I think he just got rid of uh, uh, Turtlebacks. Oh. Remove that from the game, slow down some Dean's credits. Mm -hmm. Now, mind you, a lot of these new Andromeda decks that I've been seeing at competitive tables, they're not running the same old thing. They're not. Siphon is a value card. You it play is. it, you get value, remove it from uh, and it's gone. Moose, and yeah, it's gone. Yeah, it's not your major game plan at all. This is not the sort of like siphon locks you might see with three same old things. And mm. that actually is a big deal that the siphons are more tempo plays. It's actually much more exciting, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think so. Very much. Um, uh, we've all seen games of Netrunner that are just siphon locks. Yes. And this isn't it. This is a the, temple no, siphon. No, this is a, yeah. It's a very nice and competitive siphon, which is fitting for one of its last goes around yes. the ring here. The last siphons that we're going to see in Canada. Mm -hmm. And we have an Estelle Moon iced up in that server. That ice, there's generally three pieces of ice you have to respect. One of them is just a vanilla, just a face check. The other two you have to deal with. Must. Um, and Estelle's going to come out. We're probably going to see the friends right now, and that's going to bring sure. two cards back. Yep, we've got here the blacklist. And you gotta deal with that. And the turtle backs. Blacklist no? recursion. So oh, good. Oh, Estelle, perhaps? Uh, it might actually be Estelle. I don't think it's an assembly line. Assembly lines oh, right. could do yes. it too, yeah, but yeah, I don't yeah. think we've seen one yet. No. I'm not actually sure what that one is. 
So still with three counters, again, if you don't trash those daily business shows, that's even more card draw. And Josh is getting at the point where it might be difficult to deal with the board, that he might just need to try and win off of Axis's. It looks like he's actually going to reach over there and rest <laughs> that. <laughs> sure. Stop. Yeah. yeah. Ah, favor or two. Yeah, this is a, a nice friendly match between two hardened competitors. Yeah, and they both know, by the way, they're very familiar with each other's Yes, of course. I'm not sure if they prepared together, but they're... Uh, they did not, but uh, they are pretty familiar with each other's decks at this point. It's, uh, it's safely assumed that we, uh, both players have full knowledge of each other's builds. So that's the Clone Suffrage movement. Uh, Josh Wilson doing the good uh, ordering there. Sees what he draws first with John Masanori before deciding whether to trash. And you yep. need to trash that Clone Suffrage movement. Otherwise, Thanks for minding your triggers, Josh. Everything is coming back with those friends. Uh, we saw uh, the MC austerity MC, policy. Yeah, that's a austerity policy. He's think, uh, choosing to just leave it there. Yeah. He's going to make his Aeneas money. Uh, oh, the, the card behind. That's Jackson Howard. Can I access it? Is, is Can I trash turn? it? Yeah. Uh, that's always an interesting no. position, whether or not you think the runner is going to get the Aeneas or trash it. And the blacklist is gone. Yep. So I, there might actually be another friends in hand. I'm not yep. sure. And uh, we're going to keep drawing here. That was a nice turn of just kind of cleaning yeah. house from Josh. You yeah, make sure that down. yeah, make sure that the board doesn't spiral out of control. Uh, Moons is a kind of deck where if you let it have uh, unmolested servers for one turn they can just flip, be the, flip the script completely on you and there we go that's the turtlebacks that came back and i think it might actually be three more cards this turn mm -hmm. and then i think there is another friends in hq that's gonna give you more counters with the moon even uh -oh. more card draw and now yeah. you have the engine where playing friends is actually an incredibly good tempo play i am very happy that we get to see these two decks play at this level without any sort of like uh, bad luck from either players yeah, end. yeah these are good starts yeah these are great starts so we have the current on the table. That's going to slow down the runs. It, John Masanori does kind of help with that tempo. It's, it's some tempo lost. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, Josh Wilson has cut the dirty laundries from his deck, which is a card that actually helped you deal with the current. With the current very well, yep. But if I'm not mistaken, he's running three copies of uh, Employee Strike. So That's he might sad. actually yeah. have a way out of yeah. this. Dirty laundry is no longer in favor. And just uh, look at that blacklist, that one influence coming back, yeah. denying so much money. Uh, he's actually been blacklisted three times now. Oh my god. Yep. The recursion. So Josh has to figure out what his plan is. Running into ice is actually pretty difficult. Abstract to clear, very nice. There you go. Uh, credits are a bit less, but more importantly, running is a lot easier. Do you uh, think he has uh, two full art ones and one, one uh, regular? I think Josh would probably min-max and go all for the, the full art. <laughs> yeah, buy, buy two copies. Yeah. But yeah, maybe you buy two copies. Buy two copies. So actually, interestingly enough, Josh Wilson is contesting the turtlebacks. Uh, mm. He thinks the economy is important. I think that's... There's not that many ways to make Econ in this deck. It's certainly assembly lines. Yeah, and Moon. And, and Moon's backs. and Estelle. And yep. Turtlebacks, yeah. And if you can keep those down, it's... Corp is going to spend a lot of money scoring things. They're For really sure. nice. And uh, the Turtlebacks, as you uh, mentioned earlier, really generate value with the friends in high places. Yeah. So, oh, bringing those back in with the Jackson Shuffle. And that's yep. some good operation to bring back. Uh, yeah, we've seen Moose trigger about three times now. Yeah, Moose hasn't triggered a lot. That's mostly because Blacklist is on the table and it mm. prevents you from moving cards from the heap. So you have to deal with that card before you can start moosing. And it's, uh, yeah, it slows you down a lot. Especially a lot. when you build a deck with three Mooses and think that's, yeah, gonna and be that think that's a good econ package. Yeah. I mean, of course, you can always take out Temujin contracts on things. That's right, but it's still very good indeed, stuff. Indeed, indeed. So I have no doubt at this point he only has two cards in hand. This is the kind of turn that you really want to fire. And mm -hmm. there you go. That's your Estelle Moon. It's going to draw you uh, six cards, two extra return to. Yep. Very good filtering. Yep. Mind you, the deck was just shuffled, so the cards on the bottom of R&D, agendas on the bottom of R&D, are now going to be in the mix, whether mm -hmm. that's going to make Dean more willing or more likely to draw an agenda. Uh, maybe he wants that at this point. Maybe that was an intelligent uh, This decision. is still a 0-0 zero, zero game, mind. It is? Yeah. And the threats here are real. Uh, Dean does have a lot more money now, though, where he can comfortably score and still thread an ice on the R&D. Yep. Uh, Josh with four or fewer credits. Yeah. Yeah, yeah those, those good old chip stacks. Mm. There you see some of the tech cards, the best defense, the Lakshmi Smart Fabrics. Both... The, the Lakshmi is actually relatively good I against think Josh. I think Lakshmi is very good against Josh. You want to get that res that protects HQ, so it's hard to run HQ. Yep. It technically protects all servers if you're a bit lucky. If you're a bit lucky. Lakshmi smart fabrics. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, what's Dean's game plan here? What, what do you think he What do you think he's aiming for with his DBS? He's chosen to retain a Vitruvius, so it looks yeah. like he might just be he going for, go for yep, score. score two. Yeah, because you can biotic get a Vitruvius counter. Actually, yeah. I think you can, yeah, you can get one counter. That's yep. not bad. That's not bad. Um, 
I think Dean doesn't want to go this in the late game because if Josh gets more Anisis down, as long as he can control the board, the game just comes down to Biotics. For sure. He might actually lose an R&D at that point. For sure. Once uh, you have a medium up and a couple yeah. Aeneases, you're actually making credits and yeah. running R&D. That medium's been sitting with two viruses on it for since like turn two, basically. Yeah, and again, I don't think Dean's going to be purging anytime soon until no. maybe you have to deal with an Amakura. Not until you have to. And, and yeah. even still, that is very, very poor EV for you. It looks like we're not scoring this turn. Uh, those installs are only going to get one credit. The ETF ability is turned off, but Turtlebacks yep. is still Turtlebacks is still work. up, yep. And that's a double Fairchild server, if I'm not mistaken. That's really hard to deal with. Quality server, for that's sure. That's a quality server. A Fem might get some work here, but... Uh, but uh, even if the Fem exists... Yeah, uh, that's hard to deal with. Likely it's time to slam the Inversificator if we have it, because uh, otherwise mm -hmm. that server is safe. With that path that he... Yeah, okay, there you go. He tapped that he was not oh, staying perfect. for the second piece of ice. Okay, yeah, so, oh, uh, true. yeah, it looks like the employee strike there is respected. And we're biotic and get out. Can't Just for a value install. Sure. Cool. Yeah. And I, if I'm not mistaken, that was install, Friends. install, yeah. install, so you do get yeah, he's uh, getting the a blast. Yeah. And that's a really... I love this play. Really that, well thought out turn. That is Just a very <laughs> well considered. Yeah, that, this is the fourth blacklist we're seeing. Oh my god, and that's like, uh, you have to deal with that every turn. That's two credits. It's denying you the two credits from Blue Moose. Like, yes. Your econ yeah. engine is just... Yeah, stymied by a single card. One single pip of influence is just going so far here. I think he's going to res the Lakshmi probably before that blacklist. If he wants to get those counters, maybe he actually doesn't want to show that it's a Lakshmi on the table. Maybe that's going to get a run from Josh. Maybe that's going to give him value later on in the game. But that Valley Biotic was pretty pretty good. Very, very good, yeah. He also now has a clone suffrage movement on the table, and Josh knows it. Mm -hmm. That's generally also considered another must trash asset. Yes. Because if you don't deal with it, that's more friends. If you don't deal with that, that's more uh, biotics. Everything. Those are both win, <laughs> yes, win indeed. things. Uh, and, yeah. And Josh not having a lot of money there. Man, yes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Are we just seeing the inverse? Moons. Moons has yeah. always been holding just on, and fully, everyone we yeah. talked to today have said Andy is a favorable matchup here. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have not seen Andy take one yet, have we? I don't believe we have. Mm. So Josh Wilson is setting up a second Aeneas to make it uh, run for three credits and draw a card. Very strong. A lot of compression. Click compression is a very big thing here in Netrunner. And yep. uh, against HB, that can click compress like no tomorrow. It's yes. two cards for one click. For sure. You really need to get in there. And we're raising that. Now he knows what that is. Uh, it gets a counter on self launching smart counter, fabrics. Yeah. Would you like to trash it? At this point, I think he needs the Aeneas money. He does. You don't want the huge yeah, tempo swing of exactly. trashing for three as opposed to gaining sure. two extra, I suppose. But this actually d might open up d Dean for a good score next round. Uh, Vitruvius with maybe one or two counters yeah. on it. Assembly lines. Yep, and that's, that's, a, that's gone. value. Uh, I think Lakshmi should have a second counter. We'll see yes. if we get that. Uh, we'll get there eventually, it looks like. Cold and Suffrage is gone. Suffrage movement. So the blacklist yeah. looks like it's going to stay. I believe that was all three clicks. Aeneas, trash, trash, trash. Yep. Okay, uh, we'll put some more counters on that in just a second. Make sure that people remember. And yeah, it looks that's like... Uh, Sung Ho whispering in Victor's ear here. Victor going to drop down. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure we'll see his hand kind of pour in very soon. Oh. And that's just a simple triple advance, or actually a quadruple, quadruple advance, advance with Jeeves. Quadruple advance with Jeeves, yep. Clear the employee strike, which is good. Very nice. Um, I believe that Dean actually kept the current and uh, the enhanced login protocols in hand uh, yes. from the, the Yeah, second just dig. to kind of fight the current war. And, and look at this, like, he, the way that with these the daily business shows is he's controlling what agendas he gets when he gets them. He's not holding on to agendas. No. He knows with two daily business show, if he needs an agenda, he'll probably top deck one. Oh, for sure. And that's exactly all you need. You don't want to be carrying cards in HQ if you don't need to protect HQ. Or, yeah, yep. it stops you from having to protect HQ. And Josh is in a hard position at this point, still with... I Regardless has, of how beautiful his board looks, with that just array of connections he has down there, like, it's, yeah, he's, he's, uh, it's looking tough for him. Also, Aaron should have counters. Yes, and yes. And makes uh, account siphon better, if that's going to yes. be coming up. And it looks like we got those. So there. we've got the counters on Aaron. But not the counters on Lakshmi yet. No, we're missing one counter on Lakshmi, but I think that card has been classically... Oh, uh, yeah, Dina's two points. Right. That's right. Messed up. Um... So Josh can draw up, you can use Aaron as oh, just click this card draw, and oh, oh is, he's dealing with it, sure. just as good. Yeah. Uh, and now, like, what does that Vitruvius token mean? That Vitruvius token means a lot of things. It means, means, yep, it's significant. He can pull back anything from archives. Estelle at, is good. Yeah. Biotic oh, yeah. is a win condition. That's yeah. the card something you just need in your hand, a second biotic, a first biotic. Also uh, just friends. It, friends, exactly that, friends right? Friends is value. Friends is great. Uh, it would be hilarious if you pulled back a blacklist with it. <laughs> the BM blacklist. <laughs> And I can't tell. I think Josh Wishon only has five credits. Uh, he, again, he has, he has the ability to click for three into card draw. Yep. That's obviously very, very good. Yep. 
Uh, whether or not you want to remove the blacklist, you probably need to at some point at, soon. At some point, yeah. But like, I feel like this is a Muggs game. He's kind of just like moving the shells around while he sets up for his score out. Like, dealing, even like I think right now at like just max value, Josh is having a tough time of things just because of the strength of friends in high places. Yes. And it looks like he's rotating there. He's not getting the full value of his Temujin. He's going to put that on another remote. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's just going to be that daily business show there. Yep. Now, Dean has a couple ways to play around that. Sure, uh, Josh Wilson's going to be able to click run that game seven credits. Yes. If he's not trashing it. Yep. Uh, Dean could obviously ice that up if he cares to. Uh, you only have so many ice in this deck, and putting one ice on a, on a daily business show, maybe not the best thing. No, but if it does, but stop, if it the does stop the money. Yeah. The other like option. It. Sorry? Sorry, go on. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. The other option he has is he can always put a card on top of that that he can trash. Things like uh, Advanced Assembly Lines, things like uh, Stell Moon. Yeah. They have the ability to make the server vaporize. Yeah. That strands yeah. a lot of Oh, the yeah, so that's a mind. very good point. So it's kind of risky to put this on a non ice remote if uh, if Dean has the options in hand. Even uh -huh. if friends can just turn that off in some ways. Mm -hmm. But this is. Uh, this and the Jeeves are the assets that Dean is like the least likely to overwrite. Yes. So yeah. this was very well considered on Josh's end. He knows that at this point, Dean just needs a card selection in order to kind of make the score out happen. If I'm not mistaken, Dean might have grabbed the Vitruvius right there. Yeah, there uh, it is. Not the alt art. Is that a full art or not? But, no, uh, it's a regular I don't think so. Yeah, I... so he can just biotic that out, yeah. uh, get Dean, four advanced tokens yeah. on it, and then be actually able to win next turn. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, he just needs to find that food. The food. Dean, also a uh, high EV player, but uh, the thrifty kind. <laughs> So that hand is double biotic and ice and the current. Even the current will slow down the Temujin a fair Ooh, bit. Ooh, austerity policy, very nice. He's gonna give it a click. He's gonna raw and play the current. Ah, oh, that's so good. Josh can run twice yeah. on his next turn uh, unless he has run events. HP prison. This is HP prison, right? Low testings. Get those low testings packed in there. <laughs> have no more turn left. But this is a big deal. It obviously slows Josh down. It slows down the Temujin. He does have a lot of click compression going on, but he. Obviously, cannot get through a fair turn. No, he's so far yeah, from being able so, to contest a yeah, fair turn. Indeed, and uh, he can—he has two draws off of Varen, granted, but like um, he needs to find his money and his break. Oh, I mean, not his money, but his breaker. He needs that inversificator very much. Um, did we see the passport go to Heap earlier? I think he threw out the passport earlier. Yes. Uh, so he's going to need to go the inversificator route. He can also do the fam route, which is very expensive, and we're going in blind fam at this point. Yeah, for I sure. I think we have no information on yeah, what any piece of While a blind fam can find. The lucky hit, um, as we saw in Sungho's match, uh, sometimes it just fully whiffs and you're set. Oh, well, okay, here we go. We're set up. So <laughs> in the, in the blink clicks. of an eye, he has three clicks to work with. The so last click siphon. the only thing you can do at this point. Sure. That's a good value siphon. It's yeah. going to bring the credits down. Yeah, almost guaranteed to hit. Uh, unless it's a vanilla we saw earlier. If it's a vanilla, and I think he knows a vanilla is an R&D because yes. he saw it during his digs. Oh, true. In the other game. And actually, Dean might not be resin here. And that's a, such a big value siphon. That's 11 credits, two card draw, actually three card draw if you use Aaron to clear the tags and you have John Masanori. Yep. I feel like, um, yeah, he's definitely going to use those to clear the tags. And money might not seem like it matters that much, but you actually need a sizable amount of credits. You need about 12 credits to be able to score food from him. Yes. Double biotic. Yes, uh, especially with no byroid worker. Yes. Yep. And if uh, Dean does go a bit too hard on this or spends too much of his money scoring yeah, this, the, the game could easily R&D can open up. Oh, yeah. And with uh, Medium and with Aeneas Informants and Desperado, you can actually make money running R&D. <laughs> and I think Josh Wilson's probably just needs to find his barrier breaker and hit R&D because the only thing that's keeping him out at this point in the game is vanilla. Yep. And there you go, Vitruvius, triple advance, looks like we get an extra click, and it'll, he's only going to be hitting up the MCA, doesn't need to get an advancement token on that. You know what else is beautiful about this game? Besides it being between two amazing players, and besides them both having kind of like the ideal platonic like board states for <laughs> their respective archetypes, um, they're also very nice, very yeah, cordial to each other. People. Yeah, they're great people. I don't even met these guys, they're very solid, they're active online. Uh, mm -hmm. Both of them stream, by the way, you can check out their streams. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very good players, and they're very vocal about what they're doing. It's, it's a really good way to learn. Mm -hmm. um, looks like Josh is actually trashing that austerity yeah. policy. It does represent a win condition. Next turn, you can click that and use its trash ability. I believe it gives you four or five clicks. Mm -hmm. With Biotic and Jeeves, you can easily score an agenda. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're also seeing cards that a lot of uh, people decry, for example, a current siphon, for sure. example, biotic labor, used for value. Yes. And that's actually very cool as well. Like seeing value that value siphon, mm, so nice, value biotic, value siphons. It's just, it's just a great match to watch. I'm very, very happy to be commentating this with you. Um, so what are we seeing happening here? 
value ooh, legwork. Ooh. That does get around the enhanced logging protocol, but I believe Josh has already ran. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to get see three cards in HQ. If I'm not mistaken, there might actually not be any real tension here. I think uh, Dean's always had good control over what's in HQ. Yep. You can find trashables, whether you choose to trash yep. them or not I'll trash them. I'll stay going. Uh, uh, or? Yeah, or you can actually just get two credits if you don't want to trash it. That's true. It's an interesting card. If you jam that behind a Fairchild, uh, Josh actually might be in a hard place. It looks mm -hmm. like he's deciding not to trash it. Okay. And he sees all the win conditions, so he knows the game is actually now top deck R&D. Mm -hmm. And Paperclip getting thrown out, that actually might be a mistake. There's a blacklist on There's the table. There's a blacklist on the table. That might be a mistake. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens. And he did draw the ABT. Oh, and, Ooh, and a bit true. Okay, this yeah. is, yeah, this is the, the, the business show draw. Mm -hmm. um, so he's going to be, he's going to have to pick one agenda here. And he can definitely score it from hand, but ideally you want to be scoring a food. You don't actually want to be scoring to six points. Any of these, yeah, really. Uh, yeah, but he might have to go. Is, is that... He might have to go. Uh, he understands probably Josh is not running recursion, and that one leg work is the only HQ pressure. So HQ is not terrible. Again, with that current online, uh, I think Josh really wanted to turn that current off in that run. That's very interesting to be running the single leg rope with no same old thing back up. Yeah, yeah. I've talked to a couple players about that, and the way they see it is that sure, it's good to recur it, but generally, almost eighty to ninety percent of the time, the players play that intelligently, and it gets an agenda. Yes. So leg work for an agenda. Yes. And that's probably good. That's probably where the uh, uh, deck slot. Definitely. So it looks like I think you take the Vitruvius always over the Accelerator Beta Test, and you have no option. Um, mm. It does give you a counter. Yep. Especially and considering you're never going to be firing the Accelerator Beta yes. Test. So. At this point. Five yeah. on the table and nine yeah, ice or eight, eight ice in the deck. Eight ice in the deck, really yeah. Point. Yep. Mind you, so Dean's now at what? Nine credits? Yeah. Not, yeah, not a lot. Yeah, I know. He really spent a lot doing the things he needed to be doing that last turn. Um, this still, uh, that did put the ELP on the table, and um, I think he can kind of lay off the gas a tiny bit here, yeah. but he's figuring it out. Like, if he decides to jam, then that could be really bad. That could be the entire game for him if uh, Josh decides to focus on R&D, which he most likely will. Also, for what it's worth, we have to keep track how many agendas there are on the bottom of R&D. Oh, very true. Because the value of running R&D obviously yeah, decreases. It decreases a lot, actually. Yeah. As, oh, interesting. So Full we're server white. dropping a new server in. I didn't uh, see what that was. I think it might be a fair trial. I saw a glimpse of the orange. Yeah. And it looks like it's a fair trial austerity policy. Uh, very nice. Identifying a very interesting uh, line of play. Oh, and, oh. Okay, new remote. That's fine. Getting and the money off the back. Sure. Maybe he needs that. But there's also a chance that he's uh, trashing all that ice just so he can friends that ice onto R&D. Or <laughs> friends that ice onto even the blacklist at this point. Yeah. That's probably a very good play. Considering that he knows that paperclip is there again, the paperclip is not the only option. You can still Femme Vanilla, not the best value, but not, you can also but have you an Amakua. Still, yes, indeed. Amakua always will be able to break through a paperclip yeah. or through a uh, vanilla. Me, a vanilla. Yes. <laughs> That's a really cool tempo play. Be able to trash your ice just to reposition it. Yeah. Value. It looks like we're seeing really we're seeing a lot good. of fancy footwork from these two contenders here. Yes. So see, I think he has some friends in hand, so this is probably looking maybe one ice on the blacklist, one ice on R&D, and then the an install of an asset. Mm -hmm. uh, that will be credit neutral for him because he has a Vax on the table? As long as there's a new remote, yeah. Oh, yes. I think Josh actually has a chance here. Things have kind of come back. Yeah, Josh sure. has the medium, Josh has the credits. Yeah, for he sure. can even consider icing up uh, the, what's it called, our friends, oh. uh, excuse me, our, uh, the Daily Business Show. Yeah. Because that represents seven credits a click. Sure. And there we have that friends. So it's going to be two cards coming back. And it looks like it is the ice on the blacklist. We have no doubt that's a paperclip. You're going to stay out of that, Josh. Yeah. Throwing out that paperclip. Or very nice, very nice. Shoot. And uh, that is assembly lines, That's which is assembly lines. it lets you deal if you want to put an ice on top of the daily business show before they run. Yep. It also just gives you slightly more money if they don't expect it. Uh, you always have to count at any point in time on the table that the corp could have two more credits if you're doing your calculations based off res. Oh yeah, for sure. And only two cards in HQ, and I think uh, Josh's full information. Those are double biotics. Mm -hmm. And special orders coming out for Amakua, I have no doubt. Or it actually could be a fem. Uh, it's almost certainly the Amakura, right? Hey, yeah. our turtle friend coming in. The spirit yeah. of the family. Yeah. Right now, just a Squirtle. Just a Squirtle. He will evolve. Yeah. Get a lot stronger. And I think it's going straight into R&D. He understands every piece of ice he can break. Vanilla, one credit. Yep. Inversificator, kind of expensive still, but he's no. got the money to throw around. And then you swap around. it. You and then you swap it out. Yeah. Because yep. yep. we have no doubt. Vanilla and Blacklist. Put that on R&D. Yep. 
Uh, of course, an architect architect server would give him trouble, but Josh knows. Josh knows? Yeah, double architect. You can play around the Mongoose with that. Mm. Mongoose can only do it with one architect. So whether or not Josh is going to be worried that this is the double architect, we'll see if he can jack out. This is three credits to get through, not too much. And there's a vanilla. There's a vanilla. He pays oh, one. See three cards. Smacks in for three. Draw a card. This is a huge swing. It says triggers. First card. First card at the top. We don't see what that nope. is. Nope. And he has uh, to reveal that if it's an Aeneas card. So it looks like... Yeah, it has been quite a few turns with an uncontested DBS. And um, we've seen some agendas hit the bottom of the deck already. Okay. So, so they're starting to reveal it at the worst. time. Uh, I believe on the top we saw uh, excuse me, a clone suffrage movement. Mm -hmm. uh, he didn't trash anything there. So the Amaku is going to get a bit stronger at some point. Yeah, that will actually be better at breaking architects. Definitely. Uh, then he gets two credits off the off his informants as well. Oh, the austerity policy is going to fire. And that's, the clone suffrage is coming back. That's the one card that he did not check on the table. I believe that might have came back with friends, and so now he can pull back an operation from hand. Very not, nice. I mean, not actually that many good things. No, not nothing really. He might want. Uh, is that a friends? Yeah, I believe that was a friends. Uh, that's going to let him reposition ice if he wants to do one of them clever like trash things again. Yes. Uh, but he generally, he's going to be losing the R&D if he's not purging anytime soon. Because that daily business show makes the medium dig deeper. And his uh, his money situation's not looking the best. Not looking good. Yeah, Josh yeah. is coming back. It's certainly one of the poorer moves we've seen. Maybe on the wane. And in this hand, none of those cards are playable. The double architect, though, is good on R&D. However, it's not going to fire. If you see the first one, you can jack out. Again, Josh Wilson can just run his daily business show. Temujin, come back with the tokens, run R&D. Yes. It's hard to keep that turtle out. It is very, very difficult. And there that, we go. A stereo policy. Click it once. Josh has three clicks to work with on his next turn and an ELP on the board. Here's yes. an advanced assembly lines. That gonna, is probably the second architect. Going to pay a bit cool. on the install cost there. Yep. Uh, ultimately making money off of the ETF ability. Uh, of course, one of assembly lines is rezzed. It will give you some money. Oh, and I believe there's a purge going in there. I believe that was... What was that? How did we do that? <laughs> I think we clicked No, because we purged. have the Gs, right? Yeah, so he did in the wrong order. Yeah. Oh, maybe he did earlier. But yeah, it was Purge and then hit the Austerity Policy. Yeah. Wait, but then he installed an Ice. Oh, that was with the... We're good. Assembly lines. We're fine. Siphon. Yeah. Yeah. Click one. <laughs> Siphon. Yeah. And he's going to be floating tags likely here. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's, that's all the yeah. money. I that's think at this point you actually might want to be trashing your cards. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Swap. Swap. Very nice. Very nice. He, he smells blood in the water. So he's going to hit HQ a couple times. We'll see what it turns out. I think up. there's only one card there we don't know. He's going to make his Desperado credits. That's a biotic. biotic. Sure. We know double biotic is in there. Yeah, click two of three. Josh is going to... HQ is heavily pressured. Indeed it is. It's also, you can get your Amaku up to five and deal with Fairchild relatively well, but I think you need to be able to trash that CSM, the Clone Suffrage movement. You have to be able to trash that MC Austerity policy because in one turn, if you don't deal with it, it's going to be an issue. That's a, that's a win condition there. You can sure. score a lot of agendas. It looks like click for seven is good. Run with a Temujin on that daily business show. That's Aeneas plus two, Desperado plus one, plus four. And this is a close game. This is the it, best game we've seen so far. It is a very, very close game between these two beastly archetypes. Uh, Dean is poor. Dean has zero Dean is poor. credits. And he's forced to draw an agenda. I believe there's two yeah, foods yeah, there on top. Yeah. He's coming to the point with two daily business shows that he's actually he's burned actually through. He's actually burned through. Yeah, they're coming around the again. Through. Yep. Um, that clone suffrage movement didn't get trashed. Josh Wilson is not prioritizing that. I guess he doesn't care if Friends is coming out. Mm -hmm. Uh, but there is one food in HQ. Yeah, this is a triple siphon list. And uh, yep. he, what can he do? Click for three. Really? And get a Jeeves click. Yeah. If you want a friends, you're click at one yep. credit. Uh huh. Click for three, maybe austerity policy. I think you have yeah, to yeah. do that. Yeah. And again, Josh isn't going to be recurring Siphon. Uh, no, he has three to start. Uh, R&D doesn't look so good. Like, no? the Fairchild on R&D is going to make that hard to run. Yeah, but I mean, uh, after a few, after next turn, uh, if he decides to kind of just uh, make money off of running the Daily Business Show, mm -hmm. uh, he will have Strength 5 needed to yeah, just blast through true. that Fairchild. So it looks like click for three, gain a Jeeves credit, and then you still have uh, two credits to play the Friends. Yep. And Friends is going to gain you three credits, so you actually make money doing this. Sure. Uh, we didn't see what those cards there. I'm pretty sure they're going to be as many must trash assets as possible. Things like uh, Estelle, actually, maybe you don't want to do at this point because no. HQ is a really bad spot. It looks like a smart fabric hit the table. Okay. Cards they have to respect, and uh, Josh basically, or sorry, Dean did all that, gaining one credit. Not too bad at all. Yep. And Josh has his work. He has to figure out what cards he has to trash. He has to figure out where to get the accesses. And it looks like R&D is where he's going. 
Whoa. All right, let's dig. So he's swapping that swapping. out again. There we go. So a lot for that, but now we know it's vanilla architect vanilla, if I'm not mistaken. That mm -hmm. server is going to become really cheap very quickly. And he might actually be able to rush them out with the medium. Okay, so we've got all of his triggers Single resolving. Card. Single card misses. Turtle gets a slightly stronger. Uh, strength three is enough to bash the architects. We yeah. can probably safely start calling it War Turtle now. <laughs> um, Josh here is in trouble, maybe? Like. If Dean is able to kind of credit up to the point where he can fast advance out the food, then we're going to start, we're going, well, we're going to go to the second game, I guess. But to get to that point is a tall order. Um, in order to kind of stymie Dean from advancing, he's going to need to play perfectly here. Yeah, Josh has a it's, it's a, it's definitely a wire that he can walk. It's a narrow wire, but mm -hmm. uh, I think either can pull this out. I think the money is going to be the biggest thing. It looks like Josh wants to just dig deeper. Mm. Uh, just find more. He's raising the paper, uh, the, the vanilla. Vanilla there. that gets yeah. a counter on the sure on the Lakshmi Smart Fabrics. Oh, actually, uh, he, no, he missed that. He missed that from earlier to put that there. I think he missed. That. He was thinking about the. He was thinking about the Smart Fabrics. Oh, wait, does and he think that's the Smart Fabrics, and he put the token on the wrong thing? No, no, no. It's okay. I. He, I'm assuming his train of thought was he was thinking of the Smart Fabrics. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there exactly. it is. He okay, okay. It. So he has to res that. It costs a credit. Yep. I don't think he paid for that. Up. Uh, he should pay for that. This yeah. is very important here. Okay, we're going to trash that. I think he's one credit short. We'll see if he remembers that. Um, but he's going to deal with that. That stops him from our r and I believe also Josh drew an employee strike. So that's good. It turns off the current. That current is going to be really annoying. But that clone suffrage movement keeps firing. Mm. And he's going to be able to slowly, just with the turtle bags, just, just with the idea of grind, it just out. grind uh, back yeah. the credits. By just putting must trash assets. By, oh, there we go. We got that. So now he's back, and three off the top. Uh, we're going to be burying an ABT, I have no doubt. And another current in hand is good. Yep. I don't know if he wants to play two credits to best defense out the, the Aeneas. Not worth it at this good. point. Yeah, yeah. Big tempo swing uh, for Dean, yes. against Dean. So I don't, yeah, that's definitely not something he'd like to do at this you point. You also notice Josh has the ability to click for seven, but he's not doing that. He's not doing it. Yeah. He don't need to, right? He doesn't need to. He's got the money. Uh, the he money doesn't have the money right now, not in hand, but easily from the informants and the temo. And there we go. I believe it's going to be three cre credits, probably load up that austerity policy, or actually maybe it's credit austerity friends. I think he has just enough money to do all those things. Mm -hmm. And Friends is a credit positive card, especially if he's installing advanced assembly lines, making it even more credit positive. Yep. In fact, actually, it's a pretty good burst of the economy. And I don't think he needs to throw in Estelle because that doesn't seem like the kind of card that he needs at this point in the game. So all now, right, no. So in lieu of one advanced assembly line, he's installing the Lakshmi. smart fabrics. So there's two Lakshmi's in his list. Yeah. That's impressive. Oh no, there's oh, only no, one. no, that's a tech starter. Okay, that's a tech starter. Um, so Lakshmi, I believe, is unique. Uh, it doesn't matter, he only has one. Yep. But now it comes down to where the agendas are, because Josh Wilson is in a really good spot where he can be running R&D and winning the game. Mm -hmm. Remind you, mind you, if he finds cards that he's not trashing, which trashing does help you dig deeper, but if he finds cards that he doesn't trash, he's gaining money with Desperado and Aeneas. Aeneas, yep. So it and costs him four credits to get in. Yep. He can gain four credits easily off of an R&D run. For sure. And uh, medium is ticking up, bit by bit. And eventually, eventually, given that we haven't seen a Jackson shuffle, um, he's going to run into a clump of agendas. Yep. Yeah, a lot of agendas. Now, the problem is if Josh does not deal with the austerity policy and G Dean gets a uh, food, yeah. he can win as well. He can win as well. So there's the a one. lot of de decisions here. And it looks like we're just going to be getting credits, gain seven, draw a card, yep. employee strike on the table, probably just going to not be running R&D, but to trash the austerity policy. Yep. And maybe even the clone cypher's moving because that... Well, he's only, he only got the three clicks to spend this turn, yeah? Or uh, did Dean I, do the austerity last turn? I oh, yeah, you're right. He loses the click. Yeah, that's true. So, again... Not a lot of options. Oh, gone. That is the card you have to respect because the food is going to come out and win if you don't deal with that. Uh -huh. And, that's and it. I think that's it. Sure. So tech startup. That's going to actually take a card out of R&D if he wants to res it. Mm -hmm. uh, it does give him a very important shuffle, though. Yeah, the shuffle might be good. The shuffle might be good. He has to reveal the card, but I think his deck is probably only about 14 cards, somewhere around that left. And I didn't see what that is. He has to reveal that. So he also has the Lakshmi on the table, and he's not pre resing it. He could have been getting counters off of uh, things like the Tech Startup. Mm. There's a lot of value to that. Uh, I think all the austerity policies are in the archives now, so only Friends is the card you have to worry about. Uh, these decks aren't, mind you, running Restore, a card that is relatively good at recruiting yeah. things, yeah. especially with the Cell Moon. Uh, 
feels like not a lot of decks have figured out how to slot that in yet. Yeah. It's, it's uh, new hard. and slots are very tight in this deck. Three up the top, no agendas. You do see a Jackson Howard, which is a card that actually Dean probably wants. Get yep. more cards in R&D. Get more friends. Get more mm -hmm. operations. Mm -hmm. um, and Keep at least one friend in the in the archives, maybe, yeah. just so you have it for the suffrage movement. Clone suffrage know. movement coming back there with, uh, or sorry, uh, excuse me, enhanced login protocols coming back there with the clone suffrage movement. Mm. So E strike is out, and the employee strike there is gonna. It's also gonna stop Dean's credits. Like the, it was a good tempo play to play um, friends and high places because. He was getting a value from his ability, yep. from his idea ability. Off, this, often, often uh, employee strike stops two credits a turn, yeah. a turn cycle from happening, because advanced assembly lines can, of course, install on the runner's turn. Yeah, very, very, very good. And this is the kind of point in the game where every credit counts, mm -hmm. where uh, Dean has to be calculating. He needs basically 12 credits if he has to go double buyout account. Mm -hmm. Um, I think a lot of times, at some point in time, these decks were considering running uh, diversified portfolios back in the day. That oh, yeah. used to be like a strong that would uh, be late game econ card. Interesting, yeah, but that seems more, more, yeah, like a lot of people are saying that's a win more card. It is. They don't it need is, it in their yeah. deck, and I can see that. Yeah, that you kind case. of want to win, be able to win the game from a situation where you have like very few assets on the table. And if you see there, are at turtle. That's about Blastoise. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, three, yeah. Right? We're there. Level five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Once we, we get to five, that's Blastoise. We don't need bigger yeah. than that. We don't need bigger than that. So we that, can go Mega, but again, we don't. There's no <laughs> Mega Ice in Dean's deck, so yeah. I think we're okay. Five is a magic number here to break anything that and Dean has to res. There is a small chance that Josh is going to have to respect the consistency of Cyberdex Fire Suite. So not a card that Dean actually included in his no, deck. No, but yeah, that's actually a good point. Um, but if there's an unknown card on the table, yes. Josh might be worried about planting into a, into a Fairchild as if he doesn't have enough money to deal with it with Inversificator. Uh, again, I'm relatively certain that they know 100% yeah. the contents yeah. of each other's list I wouldn't at this be surprised. point. Um, yeah, I think just after the top cut yesterday, uh, they jammed some games together. This is a really interesting point. Uh -huh. I think it's actually Dean's turn. Is he thinking? Dean, mind you, is almost always listening to music during this game. So it helps him focus. Uh, I am looking over there, and I see... He yeah. He's got what? wireless earbuds now. Yeah. Oh, That's he's got uh, yeah, yeah. Dean 2.0. Dean 2.0. So we've got to figure out here. We have actually a pretty sizable hand of cards. Mm -hmm. And I think Jackson might be the play. You can also, I don't know if it's a good play, but you could drag Josh through the server. Mind you, Josh doesn't have any agendas. He doesn't have any agendas. He hasn't any. Yeah. So there's a lot still in but the I game. But I mean, uh, a fruitful medium is going, well, he just purged, yeah? Whoa, cool. Oh, he did just purge. Yeah. So purge and, again, so much yeah. value from that Jeeves. That Jeeves has gotten him so much value in this game. Mm. He's purged twice. He's got Jeeves about every turn almost. Yeah. Like, he's playing around that card so heavily. I'd also like to note that uh, this blacklist has sat on this table for yeah. Yeah, a good Josh seven, eight turns. Yeah. Give up on it. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure. So the blue <laughs> he only had to bring it back four times. <laughs> he's playing a blue, mo blue mooseless game. Mm -hmm. He's getting enough money off of his Desperado and Nia's Temujin. And it looks like R&D is actually the way he's going right now. Mm -hmm. Whether Dean is going to be shuffling. We're going to see agendas here. There's no way they were not yeah. going to see agendas. And that's that, the first one. First pull, oof. That's, that's, not one, that's not one he wants to see go. Medium's going to see deeper. Aaron's going to get tokens. Or Masanori got the tokens. But I think we'll figure that out. Yep. And uh, you're not going to get any turtle tokens because you did steal. Mm -hmm. And we used one Aaron token there. He might actually be looking for a siphon. It would be a very ripe siphon. I think you can actually flow tags at this point. The strength of Inversificator is readily apparent here. Uh, we swapped the unresed at that point ice on archives onto R&D, uh, thereby making this server nearly trivial in he terms of cost. That, that Inversificator vanilla onto R&D was a two-turn play that Josh orchestrated. He put that on there onto R&D and then put a vanilla there. Yes. Very interesting. So it looks like we're going to clear up that Temujin and come back on R&D. That might mean we have a Temujin in R&D waiting, but we're going to see two cards here. I believe that's an asset. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like a Jeeps, so that's yeah, two he's, uh, probably not going to trash it at this point. With Daily Business Show, I think you're encouraged not to trash it. Yep. So you can choose a trash and you can reveal it for two credits. So uh, it gives some information to Dean. Revealing cards is pretty good. And a second card there, not an agenda. That oh, is a tech startup. Yeah, OK. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a uh, little fortunate for Dean there. Oh, we haven't chatted. If, if uh, Josh Wilson floats tags, uh, Dean can best of it. <laughs> I don't know if he still has it, but you'll need a couple tags for that. To you only, yeah, you'll need three. three. And he's got a Marin token. It's not likely to happen. Yeah. And I think that value siphon should be coming at some point. He does have a Temujin and a career fairy in hand. Yep. Uh, and we're just going back. Three cards up the top. We're gonna be, we're making money on this run. I'm yep. pretty sure you're actually making credits. Yep. It's just hot digs. That's how he's gonna win the game. Third card. Oh, he's no agenda. Full blank. 
Wow. That means he's not drawing an agenda this turn unless he shuffles with Jackson or Tech Startup, something like that, if that's a possibility. Mm. But this game's going to keep He doesn't going. have the money to score out, though. Mind you, this is a timed round. I don't think it's going to go to time, but we have 15 minutes left yeah. here. Yeah. Like, Dean could ride out the clock. Uh, I uh, very think, unlikely. Very yeah, unlikely, unlikely uh, because his deck is also dwindling in size. Like, um, Josh is unfettered into R&D, more or less. So, so if Dean is, n or if Josh is not finding the agendas, it means Dean is. And you saw that was another chance where he drew three cards, and I think two of them might have been agendas. He also has a food in hand. Could be baiting the, the HQ pressure. It seems relatively safe. We also have a Vitruvius counter to make HQ a bit wider if yes, we need to. Yes, if necessary. But about 12 credits is all Dean needs to biotic, biotic food. Uh, Dean's been bringing moons to events for a little bit now, just kind of getting a feel for the different lines of play that this deck has, so I'm almost certain that he's kind of got the idea how many credits he needs in order to kind of end this game in his favor. Yeah. It's looking less and less likely though. I think the siphon, the siphon would be absolutely huge and that's two more credits coming in or probably actually four more credits coming in. Uh, oh, employee strike, never mind, yep. three more. Three. Uh, he, he so that's another install. Okay. Oh, the Vitruvius tokens are used. Okay. Oh, oh, so yeah, no oh, we got a correction there, thank you. And we actually might go for a scoring server. Man. All the agendas, and there's still, if there's one food in hand, it's six on the table, three, four, five, six, seven, seven on the table, that means mm. there's ten agenda points still in R&D. Yeah. And there's only probably about 14 cards in there. We do have a Jackson that can put three more, but the agenda density is relatively high. It's very high. That medium uh, we, is kind of red. Yeah, we saw his uh, R&D upended earlier as he was kind of deliberating about what to put back, and it is very thick in agenda. Wait, there's a chance he has it. There's a chance he has just enough credits. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He might be one credit short. It depends, because uh, the turtlebacks, he actually might not have it. Okay, so he's friending. It's a purge. It's a purge in friends. Yep. And nice. that's double austerity, if I'm not mistaken, or double AAL. Yeah, double yep. advanced lines. Oh, this is a very good play. He was one credit short that yep. turn of being able to close the game. Employee yeah. strike away. Yeah, employee yeah. strike will do it, huh? Man, it's so nice. The it's very exciting. And Josh game. knows he either has to win off R&D this turn, or he needs to find that siphon. And if he finds agendas, he might get Aaron tokens to find the siphon. Uh, and he might keep going. Yeah. And Dean's actually considering using the Jackson. That's a Jackson off screen, that's fine. Three cards coming back. That just makes the gender density lower. Uh, this is the best game we've seen in Moons. I actually Andy. really like wow. this game. It's uh, showing what both decks are capable of. Very capable. Oh. Nice showcase of their abilities. Josh was trying to come back in there, insert an uh, assembly, uh, sorry, a career fair at Temujin onto r and I'm not sure if it's actually necessary at this point. Uh, you might want to run HQ a couple times too. Yeah, just to kind of feel out the food if it's there. But uh, I, I like where Josh's brain is at here. Um, if he's going to end the turn with the value siphon, then this is a great line. Yeah. So hopefully, like this can snowball. If he finds agendas, he can draw cards, find that siphon. One more siphon. Again, Josh sure, also doesn't sure. have that many cards in his deck. It has to be about like 15 cards, maybe. Yeah, something like that. I'm gonna give it a nice, and respectful shuffle. These guys actually shuffle each other's decks. A lot of people don't bother, <laughs> but these guys are serious. Yeah, I mean, this is Canadian Nationals, man. You gotta do it. So one card at the top, it looks like it's not an agenda. Medium was cleared, mm. so you're gonna be working there on singles, charging up, evolving your turtle. This is quite good. Two, four, six, eight, nine, Josh 10, has 11. to go. Josh has to go Josh hot in the tank here. Yeah, he has to find the game. Uh, also, that wasn't a trashable, so his digs on R&D aren't going to be as deep. He can also check these singles on a table. Yeah, this uh, a Rue single, but I don't think so. Oh, he has, Dean has enough money definitely yeah. with assembly lines. Yes. Career fair. That's the Temujin. Where's he going? That looks like R&D, so he can get some more value, but I don't think that's going to be enough to close it unless he can find the Dean might actually switch this. Oh, back. sorry, there's a the siphon. Mm -hmm. Exciting. This might be our final turn here of the grand final. Uh, Josh might be toppling down from the winner's side here, but we still have two more accesses to resolve, so we'll see what goes on. And that's going to be a bunch of cards. Yep. Top card, second card. Is it reveals an agenda? It looks like it's nothing. It looks like it's an asset. He didn't trash. He went for the Lakshmi money. Oh, Not okay. Deeper. Okay. Last click. What is, what's up? Run HQ, find the food. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I mean, otherwise, this is GG for Dean. This is GG otherwise. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't want to trash on R&D, because if you trash, the daily business show is going to find deeper. I think yeah. not trashing might actually be the right play here. Mm -hmm. And this deck isn't running a work crew. So he actually, even there's a chance that trashing the the, uh, the jeeps is enough to stop the food. Mm -hmm. He might he might be able to just trash the jeeps. Oh, that's a good line. Yeah, he very does, nice. He does. He does. He does. He does. Yeah. Okay. So unless there's a third biotic coming out, and I don't think he actually might have the money, we'd have to do the math. But uh, 
two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, plus, uh, there's, plus two. I think there's like six more right there on the table. Yep. Okay, let's see. That's where this draw goes. So it was a best defense into a Turtlebacks into another Jeeves. So he might have to protect that Jeeves, but it looks like Josh is finding all the answers he needs to. He's not getting lucky on our D. Very unlucky on our D. Very unlucky. But he understands what he needs to keep yeah, the game going. he's understanding. Okay, there's that money. Now what? Now Dean has to stop and think. Nine minutes left on the clock, ten minutes. He knows he's going to lose on R&D relatively soon if he can't end the game. Yep. Installing Is it to score into a new server, two? getting a credits. It's a Jeeves. Ah, oh, yes, there it is. Is that the second Jeeves, or did he just install that? Third? He overwrites the assembly lines. No, he didn't. Yeah, he made it to a new server. Oh, because he installed the Jeeves with assembly lines? Yes, he talked he's good. Jeeves. Exactly, it's so nice. G Holy yeah. crap. G, G, Jeeves, Jeeves. Topping the Jeeves. That was yep. the third card down. If Josh oh, dug one more and trashed nice. the Jeeves, he would have had nice. a game. Yep, yep, and Dean yep. takes it to game two. What a game. That was excellent. We're going to actually take this to the true grand finals. This is Canadian Nationals 27.